Hello again, my beautiful art loving friends. Uh, I'm still in Lisbon and today we are going to visit Seoul Ceramics in Lisbon and uh, I'm going to throw some dirt around. Yay! I have no idea what I'm going to make, but uh, I haven't thrown any clay for a year since I've been in Nicaragua. So I came here to get my hands dirty and to see what goes on in, um, in a studio in uh, Lisbon. So we're going to go inside and we're going to meet Miguel, the owner, and I'm going to show you going in some of his beautiful sculptures on the wall. Um, and I, I can't tell you how impressed I am with how clean this studio is. I'm almost afraid to throw because I'm so messy. Um, he might not let me back again, <laughs> but hopefully that won't be the case. So, okay, let's go in and see what's up with uh, Seoul Ceramics in Lisbon. Okay, look how beautiful this place is. My studio never ever looked like this. It's like a beauty salon. Look at this. <laughs> This is gorgeous. What a brave man to have a rug in a ceramic studio. <laughs> oh, and here's some tableware. Beautiful tableware made here at Seoul. I will put a link in the comments to this wonderful studio and gallery so that if you ever uh, have the pleasure of visiting Lisbon, you can, you can seek out these uh, beautiful pieces. And the studio, if you want to come and throw some dirt around, because Miguel has opened studio. And that's why I'm here. And there is the illustrious Miguel. Hi, Miguel. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good. What are you working on here? I'm making a jug of water. Uh, and uh, each one, it's different. Oh, like that one over there yes. with the handle. Yeah, oh, I one. love that handle. <laughs> And uh, this one, it's like a, a t-shirt or something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Put the buttons and then I will see. My accident. Um, and then you'll see what? What happens in the, in the end. Right. That's, that's what we do. <laughs> Clay is always a surprise. Yes. Right? From the time you make it till it comes out of the kiln. Mm -hmm. It's like Christmas, right? Yeah. yeah. And I, I feel you in saying that, you know, we'll see. Because it, it seems like the clay tells you. Of course. Uh, for me, I get into the clay, get out of this world, <laughs> and then things come to happen. So sometimes I start with an idea, but when I start to modulate the, the clay, something different uh, comes to my mind and I change it. So sometimes it's a never hand finish work of this. Right? <laughs> yeah, I, I found that myself. Now, what kind of clay is this that you're using? It's very dark. Yes, this is stone layer. Uh -huh. uh, that has a lot of oxy ox uh, manganese oxide uh -huh. to, to be black. Yes. Uh, it's not easy to work uh, because the oxide uh, reacts a lot. So to dry, it's difficult. We have to dry very, very slow. Uh, like porcelain. Yes, yeah. like porcelain, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. And the fire, uh, I took a long to, to know how to fire uh, it well. How many, how many, uh, how many depths of clay did you have before you figured it out? A lot, a lot, a lot. It was a I insist a lot because I like this, this, this clay, uh, and to do tableware with it. I think the contrast uh, between the clay and then the glazes, and even the reactions uh, it produced with the, the glaze, uh, is fantastic. So it made me continuous, but it was madness. <laughs> <laughs> right it always is like you know i think that um the two main things that clay taught me when i started was patience mm -hmm. and how to let go because you just can't get attached to anything until yeah. Yeah. it comes yeah. out of the kiln that last fire what i say to the students that come here there are two words in ceramic that are fundamental <laughs> <laughs> it's patient uh -huh. and time uh -huh. so the clay is his own time mm -hmm. and we have to have the patient to understand it and to wait. Because if you rush things, something bad happens. Inevitably, <laughs> inevitably, right. So are these some of the pieces that you um, make with this color clay, the, the uh, dinnerware? Yes, here I have a mix of pieces from students oh. and uh, some of my own. These ones in the top are my own, these two, but this is students. Yeah, well you can certainly tell the difference. <laughs> So, so, so this is... Then I show you. Okay. So this is a kind of dish I do. 
with the, the black the clay. Mm -hmm. This is a, a glaze that it's not from this color, it's another color, mm -hmm. but when he, is, he reacts with this black clay, uh, it turns a little bit brown with some parts of white That's that it makes me like it a lot. Yeah, it's really nice. It comes out almost like a bamboo or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really nice. Those are their beautiful dishes. Only this one. It's a ramen bowl. Oh, I love that. Uh, and the, the, the glaze, it's like a mustard glaze. Uh -huh. But with the, the black clay, it, it produces these reactions. And we never know what happened. So it's what I like. Is the surprise. Mm -hmm, Sometimes right? it's not a good surprise, but others it's very good surprise. Right, yes. Well, that's the thing about glaze is you just don't know what it's going to do. It happens the same with these Wow, so very sometimes cool. Sometimes it happens these mm -hmm. the things, but the, the reaction is very, mm -hmm. very I good. think, and some people don't know that you could put the same glaze on a number of pieces, mm -hmm. but depending on where it is in the kiln and how you formed it and everything, yeah, that, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. the color could come out completely different just uh, 10 degrees of different in temperature change yeah it all and sometimes the pieces that are around mm -hmm. if they have uh, other glaze sometimes they can react to oh. uh, and yeah perform differently yeah because it's all like the the heat <laughs> and chemical that yeah. goes on yeah. in there yeah, very cool. So how long have you had this studio and how long have you been a ceramic artist? Well, it's not a very long story. It's a very short story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this studio opens last year, oh. uh, October. Uh -huh. uh, and it, it was not my perfection. Uh, I used to work on a multinational company. Uh, I have made an international career. I went to Brazil when it was the Olympic Games and the World Cup to 2014, uh -huh. working for that company. Uh, in Brazil, my mind started to change a little bit. And when I returned to Portugal in 2016, uh, the work doesn't please me anymore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so I was a little bit tired. Uh, so in 2022, I leave the company mm -hmm. and I decided to to work in ceramic because I have two, two friends that are ceramists and I love their, uh, their work, uh, so I decided to do it. But for that, we need to study. Yes, yeah. So I went to school again. Did you? Oh, that's great. <laughs> uh, with 60. <laughs> that's wonderful. Uh, and I spent two years and a half studying ceramic, uh, the wheel, sculpture, all the other techniques, slab, coil. You got this all down in two years. Oh yes. my gosh. <laughs> and when I finished, I worked on another studio for a while. Uh -huh. uh, and then I decided to open my home. And it's that. Good for you. <laughs> wow, that's great. I struggled for such so a long time. I, I made a, a little piece that face. That little there. guy up there? Yes. That yes. represents the change of my life. Ah. So I made the wall. <laughs> Right? I smash a little bit myself, but uh, now I can say that I'm happy. That's excellent. <laughs> and then you keep that up there as a reminder, right? Yes. <laughs> That's wonderful. And then this is all work uh, by people that have come in yes. to throw I and... I receive a lot of people, mainly foreigners. Uh, mm -hmm. Some are residents of the studio, but there's ones down there. Yes, okay. Uh, I have two Americans, in fact. Uh-huh. Yeah. And now me. And now you. <laughs> uh, of course, now maybe I'll call myself Nicaraguense because, you know, <laughs> I live there. <laughs> but today there are a lot of people uh, loving ceramic and trying to, and wanting to try. Mm -hmm. uh, so they come here to get a, any initiation on, on the wheel. Is it mostly people that come that just want to try? They want to try uh, and part of them they love it so much that they do they do advanced wheel and then they stay here. You must be a very good teacher if they come for the first time to get on the wheel and they come back because we know how frustrating <laughs> it is to start. Yeah. In fact, uh, I have several several people uh, that come back again. That's wonderful. Very cool. And that's nice for me. 
Yeah, for sure. That's great. <laughs> well, thank you so much for showing me around and talking about your work and everything. I think it's, it's time for me to throw some dirt around. <laughs> thank okay. you very much. Hey, okay, kids. Here I go. I'm going to get on the wheel after not throwing anything for a year. And uh, I'm going to give it a go. And you can watch me if I mess up and laugh. <laughs> Where you can say yay, you know. I have, I have no idea what I'm throwing. I'm just I'm just here to throw and have fun at right near the airport at Soul Ceramics in Lisbon. So okay, here I go. The, the plane is terrible for you. Yeah. That's all right. I remember when my friend was starting to do ceramics and she was going to this uh, studio and um, I was playing a joke on her. I told her to ask the instructor for the self-centering clay. <laughs> well, it exists a tool that could be mounted on that, on that wheel. Could you imagine if there was such a thing? Okay, kids, this is where I am now. It's it's not great because I left a lot of clay down here, I know, but, uh, you know, it's a, it's a first time back out, so. <laughs> and, yeah, so. Um, yeah, so I just decided to travel, you know, and see what's going on in the art world wherever I go. Oh, I'm gonna slow this wheel down. I think I'll make this sort of like a bottle. Do you make, do you do clay? Do you throw clay? Oh, uh, a little bit. Yeah? My father has the experience, but I'm just starting. Well, everybody has to start. Yeah. But I usually work more with uh, molds. Oh, yes? Yeah? With casting. Do you make your own molds? Uh, I'm trying to, but it's really hard. I don't think there's a lot about ceramics that is easy, <laughs> right? No, maybe maybe glazing, easy. maybe glazing. You just dip in a glaze. That's probably maybe the easiest no, thing. I'm, I'm saying it's hard because you have to you have to have a specific part of the studio just to do the the mold part. Mm -hmm. Yes, contaminate everything. Right. Because the process is. Normal is like uh, any creative part of the anything. Mm hmm. Totally. 
Okay, I'm making this a closed form. Don't know why, but I just am. <laughs> it's gonna be around something. What is it gonna be? I don't know. I'll just mush it, see what happens. These cups of espresso. Oh, very are nice. From molds. You made the molds. Yeah. I love that. So we designed the piece. First, we did at the uh, wheel. Right. My father, yes. And me and my brother was like, oh no, this mold. Can you come and show that on the camera? Over cool. here. Over here. Down. There you go. So you and you and your brother, your dad threw these. Yeah. And then you and your brother did the molds. Yeah. Excellent. We like uh, redesigned the piece and oh, we have to make a mold for the mold. Yeah, and so that that's so you pour the clay in those molds yeah i made like sprig molds you know where you just lay the clay in okay let me see hmm, let's see this no i want this one maybe never use these ah Mm, yep, not gonna use it either. Anyway, you have the red ones. These here? That, yeah. I don't know if it fit for you, but. I don't know either. I had some of these also. I see everyone. Everyone using, likes these? Yeah, yeah. at the bottom. Yeah, I'm kind of wishing I made this more round. It really kind of looks like nothing. <laughs> I think you have. But like I said, I'm just here to play. I no, I mean the form. The oh, form. Okay, I wish okay, I had just okay. made the. I wish I had bellied out the. You know, bellied it out more so it was more like a, an apple or something. You know, <laughs> just now it's just I don't know what it is. But again, I just came to play. So. <laughs> uh, it's just fun. Pottery is like the, it's like a therapy because we are so focused on the clay that we forget everything around us. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think it's amazing. It's like a real meditation. It really is. <laughs> Let's see if I'm gonna. I might be going too deep here. We'll see. I'm gonna cut a little foot like that. It's not doing it. Do what I want you to do. Do as I command. There we go. It's yucky. Yeah, it's just way too thick. It's, look, I didn't even, no, the walls are too thick. It's nothing. I just came to play. Yes, I understand. <laughs> we, the other day, we have a person from uh, Washington. Uh-huh. And he kind of just do play. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, I mean, because it's not like I'm going to, you know, leave something here and glaze it and fire it and all that stuff, yeah. you know. And you were like, oh, if you want to keep the piece and glaze it, cool, send me a picture. Mm -hmm. If not, no problem. I'm just here playing yeah. with the clay. Yep. Yeah, see how thick that wall was? Yeah. It was not worth keeping. I'm used to porcelain. I go very thin oh, with it, okay. you know. And like with each clay, I think you just have to get used to how it feels, you yeah. know. Yeah. And the clay dictates to you. You don't dictate to the clay, that's for sure. <laughs> so the clay in the States is very different from Europe? No, there's, you know, this is stoneware. It's, it's pretty similar, okay. you know, but I put porcelain is very smooth and very yeah, yeah, yeah. buttery. It's like, yeah. it's like throwing butter. It really is. 
And then um, I was telling your dad also, I started making paper clay and working with that. Okay. And so you do a lot of hand building with that. You can't throw paper clay. 